Well, yep. now to an important health alert. A new study finds that colonoscopies, they may not be the best way to detect and prevent colon cancer. It found that those who received a colonoscopy had an 18% lower risk of colorectal cancers than the group that didn't get screened. And researchers say that's actually much lower than expected. But this study is getting some scrutiny from American physicians who say these results shouldn't deter people from getting colonoscopies. Well, joining me now to talk more about this is Dr. Jessica Shepard. She is a chief medical officer at Very Well Health. Hi, Jessica. Good morning. How are you? I am good, thanks. Well, talk about this to me. I, it's kind of confusing. You've got, you know, Chadwick Boseman's death two years ago. Everyone's like, get tested, get tested. It's so important. It's fundamental. I, I believe he was in his 40s. Can you tell me what this new study tells us? Now, first, let's just take it back to the actual disease of colorectal cancer, which is the fourth most common cancer in men and women, and the fourth leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the U.S. So taking it from that context gives us the ability to see how important it is that we do have screening capabilities for colon cancer and looking for precancerous cells, because in any type of cancer, early detection is key. So this study obviously was a landmark study in the sense that it was using the gold standard to look for colon cancer, but there are a few parts of the study that does leave for question and should not take away the importance for people to get their screening in order to prevent colon cancer. And what are those parts of the study? Is it, did they not pull from a large, group, a large enough group of people? I know that genetic factors is definitely a risk. Yeah, there are a lot of things that go into the cancer category of what increases your risk that family history that can be just environmental and also a good demographic uh, portion of what the study looked at was not necessarily representative of what we would see in the population in the entire world now this was a study that was done on roughly 80,000 people but in one country and so from that you have a specific diet a specific uh, genetic factor that's going to be in that study and when we look actually at the demographics of the population in the US there is so much variation in that Again, like you said, Chadwick Boseman dying from colon cancer in his 40s. Now, that is something that is not typical to the disease, but we are starting to see a little bit more of. So how do we find that way where we can screen people, get the screening tools that we need that are going to be the most diagnostic and the most effective, and also looking at cost as well in order to save lives with it being the fourth common cancer in men and women? Well, colonoscopies are not the only way to get tested. Can you kind of tell us about some other alternative screenings? Yeah, there are some absolutely alternative screens when we look at fecal uh, testing. That's really just testing the stool. There's also sigmoidoscopy. Now, a colonoscopy is really when you go into a greater portion of the large bowel to look for any lesions. And these lesions can be flat. They can be very beefy. It really is the ability and operator dependent to try and find these lesions to test them. So sigmoidoscopy is when you have less of the bowel that you're looking at. But then also fecal uh, occult tests look for blood in the stool and then from there, they can determine if there's something that needs more testing. So yes, all of these things play a factor into how we can decrease these rates. There are other testing capabilities, but colonoscopy has been the gold standard for years. Dr. Shepard, thank you for your time. Very important discussion. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.